Hello everybody and welcome to Beelzebub's Buns channel. Today we are looking at Halo Reach and there has been a recent update that has finally, finally fixed the appalling frame rate lag that was seen in Halo Reach as it was made backwards compatible with the Xbox One. While us fans voted and stressed that we would like to see Halo Reach as backwards compatible, once we got it, we noticed that the frame rate really put us off. A few updates later and months and months later, it is finally fixed. But it doesn't seem to be what we remembered. I know it's crazy to think that Halo Reach is now six years old, and it's apparent that it hasn't aged quite well at all. A major annoyance that I see is whenever I go into a playlist in matchmaking, there are many times where you end up on a forged map. While the map was designed by someone who is much more skilled than I am in Forge and has taken a lot more time than I have ever taken in Forge, after a while I just would rather play on maps that were designed from the ground up. The Forge pieces are not very colorful, so after a while of playing on only Forge maps, you just feel a bit dreary. But there are a lot of great things about Halo Reach. For example, I think the vehicles are more fun to use. In fact, I would have to say my favorite gameplay for vehicles out of all the Halo games is in Halo Reach. The Warthog feels very mobile and strong on uneven terrain, but after a few explosive shots, <laughs> it can send you in the air for some out of control flipping. The Invasion game type is one of my favorite game types to play in Halo and I know a lot of other people have agreed before. In fact, we would like to see it in other Halo games. But big Halo fans would probably find the most enjoyment out of Firefight mode and the campaign. As for Firefight, the customization in Halo Reach is undoubtedly the most customizable. It is nice to be able to shoot at brutes and elites and add in some cannon fodder grunts to the mix. Altering the settings in a firefight game mode such as starting with a sniper rifle and practicing your snapshots is always a nice change of pace. Inviting your friends and beefing up the AI to legendary difficulty to have brute chieftains and elites and a bunch of jackals is a great challenge. But as I was playing this I couldn't help but think that this Halo game is over 6 years old and how much I would love to see it in Halo 5. But of course, that's not the case. Will Halo 6 have this level of customization? In fact, will it exceed the amount that is found in Halo Breach? Is it safe to assume that Halo 6, or the next Halo in the series, will be on the Xbox Scorpio? If we were to get more content in the next Halo game, there needs to be a powerful system to play it, and I believe that the Xbox Scorpio is the console for the next Halo. As for going back on Halo Reach, when you're playing on the Xbox One, the memorable encounters such as running up on the beach plays smooth, or at least what it felt like on the 360, perhaps even smoother. Keep in mind, Halo Reach has this odd motion blur that we haven't seen in other Halo games. To compare this, Halo 3 I felt was more brighter, cleaner looking, and therefore I think has aged better. But in Halo Reach, they obviously went a more gritty, beat up route. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you look at it six years down the road, Halo 3 in certain aspects can be easier on the eyes. I know that's not necessarily fair since Halo 3 was included in the Master Chief Collection bumped up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. It's still fresh in the mind of the old Halo fans that Halo Reach did significantly change in graphic fidelity. However, it was at a cost. Yet if you can get past the way it looks, there is some fun to be had in Halo Reach still. With that said, I hope I see some of you guys in the Halo Reach lobbies, and if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, and go ahead and subscribe to Beelzebub Spun's channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.